What a terrific Tuesday we've got going on to start the day today. Welcome to your advisory kickoff video so that you can be ready to start your day and get that big, beautiful brain of yours thinking and ready for action. You ready to go? Go ahead and give yourself a little brain massage real quick. Get everything going. I know Mondays can always give us the blues and Tuesday can some be sometimes rougher than Monday to get going. But here we are and I'm so excited to share with you a little bit more about that bravery video we watched yesterday. So kindness and bravery kind of go hand in hand because sometimes you really do have to be brave in order to be kind. It can be really hard sometimes to choose kindness. And I know we've all heard the phrase, choose kind. Choosing kindness is a way that you can be brave because sometimes we want to go into the anger ball issues and get mad at people. And choosing kind sometimes is a way that we have to calm ourselves down and think a little bit bigger than just what's happening right in front of us. So I hope that you can all choose to be brave and kind today in different ways. So as we watched that music video and got to see everybody just dancing and having a great time, I wanted you yesterday to see how do you see brave in that video. What are people doing that shows bravery? Now, usually sometimes bravery means like knights going off into battle or soldiers at war or people having to like have some kind of like uh, conflict right that you have to be brave to kind of fight something off but we don't really see any fighting in that video we see people dancing so how do you see braveness how do you see bravery how do you see being brave there let's think of one dancing of course you really do have to be brave to dance like that in front of people because you are putting yourself in a very vulnerable situation where people can laugh at you, people can make fun of you. You saw everybody kind of watching the guy at the mall wondering what the heck is he doing? Okay, what else were people doing? How else did they demonstrate being brave? Definitely by dancing. What about when they would grab other people and pull them into what they were doing? Is that a way to be brave? Absolutely, let's write it down. Oh, I didn't tell you, get out your journals! I didn't give you that friendly reminder, so do you have something to write with? Get out your paper, get out your pencils, because you should be taking notes on this so that we can write an amazing paragraph on Friday together. That's what this whole thing is about, remember? Brainstorming ideas. Because you're a genius just like I'm a genius, and you're a champion just like I'm a champion. And I really want to show you how a champion genius can write really well, detailed paragraphs in an easy way. How about that? Did you know that writing isn't just fun, that writing's actually kind of easy too when you slow down your thoughts about what you're trying to capture and getting those details ready through a little brainstorm. Be brave and write with me. Got your journal? Awesome. Here we go. So we talked about how do you see bravery? People dancing and then like pulling people into what they're doing. You had to go up and like invite a friend. I'm going to write that one down. Invite a friend. That's a way to be brave because people could be like, hey, crazy person, back off. So there's two right there. See if you can come up with one more on your own. And I'm adding this one today. What is being brave? So here we're talking about dancing. And I just talked about like knights and soldiers going off into battle. And that's another way to be brave. I talked about kindness, choosing kindness. You have to be brave. So what is being brave to you? What does that mean? Is it dancing in the streets? Is it standing up for someone being bullied? Is it asking a teacher for help when you're really nervous? Is it... I stopped so you could start thinking. What is it? Take a minute and write down what your definition of being brave is. Or what situation when you're brave. Anything that comes to mind about what is being brave. That's the beauty of a journal. You can write anything you want that fits in the topic. It's all about you being aware of your own ideas and that big metacognition process happening up here in that big, beautiful brain. When you're thinking about your thinking, you're becoming analytical. And that is the whole point of every single literacy skill that we all try to teach you. We want you to analyze and think about things and become a really engaged learner in all of your school experiences because that's how you can learn to use those thoughts in your big, beautiful brain to write down really interesting stories and responses to literature and formulate really cool opinions about what goes on that we learn about. 
It's awesome how your brain comes together to take stuff like this, visual literacy like we're watching right now, and put it together in a way that helps you be aware of the amazing metacognitive process happening upstairs. That's right up here. Thanks for listening to me. Get out your journals one more time and enjoy that video. And always be brave.